and uh, welcome back to Little Black Pig. It's a beautiful sunny weekend. It's Saturday on Easter weekend. Uh, temperatures are really warm today, so we might get our shorts on later. Um, but this morning, I'm just gonna show you how to make a lasagna layering composting bed. Um, I do this in my bathtubs. As you can see, I've got rather a collection of them. Um, but you can equally make them out of some pallets, uh, or just put them directly on the ground. I'll show you a little tour of our vegetable garden a little bit later on where you can see the, the lasagna beds directly in situ which you can plant. In of today's lasagna bed, I've got various components that we need. If you think of lasagna, it's got your pasta and it's got your meat layers and your pasta and your meat and your pasta and your meat. So what we need to start with is a dry layer at the bottom. So this is some dry grass which have, uh, we mowed the lawn a couple of days ago. We didn't collect it, we just let it dry um, on the ground. So that's our dry, that's our pasta layer. And then we need our really nice manure. So we've got some fresh steaming pig poop, which I collected this morning. Whew. Um, so that's gonna go at the bottom. That's going to take time to compost. And then we're going to then put some fresh grass cuttings over the top. And then we're gonna put some more dry on top so that's the pasta and then we've got this really lovely lovely well rotted manure that's going to go in on the next layer and then watering it all down so it nicely composts together and then in about a month's time we'll be able to plant into the top layer while the rest of the layer at the bottom is going to compost down over the next 12 months okay so i've got my bathtub here beauty of a bathtub, it's got a lovely drainage hole all ready for you. I put the bathtub on a slight slant towards that drainage hole so that it drains beautifully without any problems. I've got some broken bricks, which I'm just going to add at the bottom. You can use you can use broken um, terracotta pots or some old bricks, just a little bit to help the drainage and also to make sure that the drainage plug hole doesn't get clogged with soil. Then, the first part of the lasagna, your dry matter. So this is just freshly cut grass, left to dry and then raked up maybe a day or so later, depending on your, your temperature. Um, and then we're going to put the really stinky compost. Now, obviously, not everyone has got really stinky pig poop. But if you have got chickens, you can use chicken, <laughs> use chicken compost. Probably not quite as sticky and disgusting as this. But this is going to turn into fabulous soil that is going to nourish your plants. You've got to put this right at the bottom because we don't want that. It's too rich if it gets near the roots of our plants right now. Okay, wearing gloves. Right, nice, stinky, steamy pig poop. Nice and moist. Great. Nice. <laughs> right, um, next stage is some wet grass. Okay, so that's some freshly cut grass. So that's a bit more to help rot down. Squelch. Nice. Okay. I've got some weeds here. I did some weeding. Turn those upside down. I weeded all the paths around the bathtub garden. So. They weren't flowering, so they can all just go in as well. That all helps to break down over time, creating some lovely compost. And then I've actually got some well-rotted manure in this wheelbarrow here. It's really important to wet this down so I'm going to soak this down I'm going to put some more compost on the top 
and then I will be able to plant into this very soon. Moving on from our seeds and our seedlings and our germination, I'd like you to take a look at my smartphone. I showed you earlier how densely they'd been sown. I potted some on already, but I just wanted to show you just how dense they are to start with. And then once they've got good two, three leaves, then they can start to be pricked out. So I've soaked the soil so it's really nice and moist. The little seedlings should fall away nice and easily. Hold them by the stalk, like so. Nice roots there and then just pop them in your pot. Backfill with lots of soil so it goes right the way up to the top of the stalk and that stalk will grow big and strong. Okay, so I'm going to do that with all of these but what's going to happen afterwards once I've finished I've finished I'm going to put my tomatoes all in here and then this is going to become the next stage of the cold frame with the wonders of an old shower screen. So the heat from underneath of the lasagna bed composting is going to keep this into a really nice humid environment which the tomato seedlings are going to love they are naturally a tropical plant. This is going to go over the top and they're going to grow beautifully in there over the next week or so. Okay, so you may not have access to fabulous pig poop um, in your home, but you may well have guinea pigs or rabbits, or um, you can use compost from your kitchen waste, tea bags, coffee grits, um, onions, leeks, all the chopped off bits that you're not good for cooking. You can use all that as part of your composting material in your lasagna beds and you will still end up with fabulous compost. Uh, so it's goodbye from me today from Little Black Pig. I hope you have a lovely Easter weekend. Um, please write any comments of anything that you found interesting from today's video um, in the link below. Um, obviously a like and a subscribe would be amazing. Um, and uh, if there's anything that you particularly want to learn about on our farm, I'd be happy to show you more videos. Sh send me the topics that you'd like and we'll get on to it as soon as possible. Have a good weekend. Bye.